Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney for the NDS. Last time left off, uh, yeah, we're bringing in the parrot for cross-examination. So let's get right into this and listen to what um, the parrot has to say. Hello! Hello! What? That was it. Hmm... Certainly the most concise testimony we've had so far. Very well. Begin your cross-examination. Right. What are you gonna do, Nick? I... I don't know. <laughs> what do we do, Maya? Uh... Oh, God. Um... Yeah... Uh... <laughs> Uh, press on something? Witness, you're here to speak! You must speak to me! Frankly, I can't believe that you're speaking to the parrot. Well, I guess we should try to get some informa- get some information out of her. We need to show the judge that her owner is Mr. Yogi. I know that, Maya, uh... I don't know what the... I'm just pressing here. Witness, you can't just say hello and expect us to get anywhere. I want you to testify. Maya, you talk to her. Right, um, what do I say? Uh, what's your name? Maybe I should get her to say her name. Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly, Polly, what? Well, that was a yelp. What the hell am I doing? Mr. Wright. I think we established this parrot's name, Polly. Does this have anything to do with her owner's identity? If you looked at the court record, it does. Yes, it does! Ha! Fascinating! You claim that parent's name will prove her owner's identity? Then show us this proof! Nick, don't you think you're talking- you're taking a, a bluffing a little too far? Listen. We're not here to answer the question of who is the caretaker. We're here to prove that he is Yanni Yogi. All we have to do is tie the name Polly to Yogi. Your Honor, the proof that Parrot's name reveals the caretaker's identity is... And it's actually a DL6 case file. Why? Well, I'll show you in a little bit. The DL6 case file? That's quite a large file you have there. Which page is his proof on, then? Show us or stop wasting our time! Hmm... Very well, Mr. Wright. Please show us the page. Where in this file is information connected to his parents' name? And if you're unsure where to check, uh, go ahead and... Just... Go on here and check the file. And I know it's under the, uh... The suspect data. It's... Yanni Yogi, blah blah blah, and you look right in the bottom! After his arrest, fiance Polly commits suicide. Coincidence? I think not! So, we just say, uh, suspect data, I believe. It's on the suspect data page. This page is all information about Yanni Yogi. Right after he was arrested, his fiance committed suicide. See? Hmm. Indeed, it does say that, yes. What has his fiance's- what was his fiance's name? Polly Jenkins. Polly! Exactly, your honor. He remembered the name of his fiance who committed suicide. That's why he's- why he named his parrot after her. I see. I guess that is possible. Bah! A mere coincidence, that's all. My granddaughter has a dog she calls Phoenix. While- while Mr. Phoenix right? Does this make you my granddaughter's fiance? She's only seven years old. Oh wait, that's uh karma. <laughs> oh okay, okay. That uh, I guess karma has a point there. Indeed. Alone, it is a little weak for evidence in a murder trial. We 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 would need some more uh collab cooperating evidence. Where am I gonna find that? Nick, we're getting closer. One more, if we can just get one more piece of evidence. Right, but what? Ugh. 
times. Very well, witness. You may continue. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I, I think it froze there. I'm not really sure. Okay, uh, let's press again on this. Go ahead and skip this a teeny bit. We're gonna ask her, um, what's the safe number? I remember, uh, she gave us that information. Maybe I'll get her to say the number of that safe. Huh? The safe? Why? Let's just try to get her to say anything, okay? Polly, what was the number of that safe in the shack? 1228! 1228! Oh, I would have wrecked this parrot. Well, Mr. Ray, you weren't claiming this number has something to do with the caretaker. If we looked at that court record, once again, yes it does. Actually, it does! That's why I had her say it! Ha! Ridiculous! How can a number to a safe tell us who the caretaker is? Show us your proof! What could possibly link this number to the caretaker's true identity? Once again, bring out the case file. The DL6 case file? What is this obsession you have with that case? Mr. Wright, where in this file is something relating to that safe number? And if you're unsure, you just go back to the case file. Check it. It's right here in the court summary. Look right here. December 28th. Otherwise known as 1228. Coincidence again? I think not! Go ahead and present this case file. Oh, actually, no, I'm. Present the case summary. It's on the case summary page! The case summary? Specifically, the date of which the DL6 incident occurred. The date of the incident? December 28th? Why, that's today's date. 15 years ago. And the number on that safe is 1228. Ah! He used the date of the DL6 incident as a number for his safe, Your Honor. That's how important that date was to him. I see. It certainly is an interesting coincidence. People often do set their secret numbers to dates. But This is not tangible proof! I set my ATM's card to 0001 because I'm number one! <coughs> Are you... <coughs> that voice is really killing me. Are you really serious, Von Karma? You, you, one, you just told us your ATM card, so I'm gonna rob your ass after this case is over. But... You're not number one. This has nothing to do with a date. Nothing. That's enough. I think we reach a conclusion here. This is a mere coincidence. That's all. True. That is a possibility. However, two coincidences are at the same time seems more like a pattern to me. What are you saying? Summon the caretaker of the boat shop. Immediately. Oh boy. Witness, tell us your name. Wait, this witness, he doesn't remember- No. It's okay. What? Whoa! I've accomplished what I wanted to do. I'm done. Nick, he, look to he looks totally different! This is a real yogi, I think. Finally. He's been acting feeble to hide his true identity. Acting for 15 years. Will, let me ask you again. Please state your name for the court. My name is Yanni Yogi. 15 years ago, I served as a bailiff in this very court. Wow, he looks. I don't know. Order! Order! Yanni Yogi! So, was it you who killed Robert Hammond? And try to frame Miles Edra for his death? Yes. It was me. I did it. They put me on a witness stand 15 years ago. Robert Hammond. He said I was mentally unsound. He told me it would make me innocent. Get me off the hook. Then, I pretended I had brain damage. I was innocent, really! But he didn't believe me. We won the trial. But I lost everything. I lost my job, my fiance, 
my social standing. Then, this fear, this year, 15 years later, a package arrived. It was a letter and a pistol. The plan was written out in careful detail. It was a plan for me to take my revenge on the people who ruined my life. I didn't care who had sent it. I thought this was my chance. After 15 years, this was it. Finally, a chance to have my revenge on Robert Hammond and Miles Edgeworth. I have no regrets. Wait a moment! Revenge? I guess Miles Edgeworth? What do you mean? I'm not at liberty to speak on that matter. Why don't you ask Mr. Edgeworth yourself? Anyway, I admit it. I was the one who killed Robert Hammond. Wow. Von Karma, where is Mr. Yogi? Under your wrist, Your Honor. I saw no room for error in his confession. Then, the defendant Miles Edgeworth is innocent. In this case, at least. What does he mean by that? Very well. Will the defendant please take the stand? Guys, I, I think we did it. We did it! We beat Von Karma! There are a few mysteries left unsolved. Still, you'll clear the you're clear of suspicion for that for this particular case. So I would like to pass judgment on the murder of Mr. Robert Hammond. Any objections? I don't believe it! Alright, guys! Why isn't Von Karma saying anything? Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth, not guilty! Woohoo! Confetti in the courtroom! Yes! Yes! We did it, guys! Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time for. Well, actually, I think we're done. It... What's going on? Who said that? It wasn't Von Karma. Wait. But that means... No. Edgeworth! N what are you doing?! Your Honor, I object to your judgment! What the, wh What?! What do you mean?! I'm not innocent at all! As we have heard, Yanni Yogi killed Robert, Rob, Robert Hammond in, in the, uh, revenge. But revenge for what?! Nick! Edgeworth is trying to confess! He's gonna say he's guilty! He's gonna tell me he was a murderer in a DL6 incident! He's gonna tell me he killed his own dad! Oh no! What do I do? Raise! Raise an objection! The judgment has already been passed. I object to Edger's outburst. Don't some didn't something like this happen yesterday too? I believe a certain witness raised an objection after a guilty verdict was passed. That would be Larry. We must hear his new statement. We must hear Miles Edgeworth! He's right. We have a duty to hear Mr. Edgeworth out. Oh, come on! Come on! You were so close! So close! <laughs> what the hell? What's wrong with you, Edgeworth? Oh. Damn it! Really? You made me- you pissed me off. You couldn't just keep your damn- Live- live with that thought for the rest of your life. I don't give a damn. Don't confess it! Oh. Okay, I might, well, I might have well, went on a little bit of a <laughs> rage and outburst right there, but... Damn! Come on now! We won! We thought we won, and now look what happened! Oh. Okay, guys, well... Yeah, we're gonna be saving this for next time. We're, we're gonna find out why he confessed and... <laughs> You guys have not seen anything yet. Trust me. Wait until the, ne the next part, or probably the next two parts. Oh, you, you'll see. But uh, for, as usual, I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney for Nintendo DS. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later.